the first method to measure V offset would be to configure the circuit as shown into a buffer circuit, which essentially V out should be V offset. Now, this can be hard to measure because V offset is a small number and it, the reading would be bounced around by the noise of your equipment. We could add gain with and since V offset comes in on the positive terminal, it's, it is just a non-inverting amplifier. And we could set R2 and R1 to get the gain we desire. We have to be careful here because R1 has to be less than about 100 ohms or non-zero currents going through the negative terminal of the op amp will distort the gain. Another problem is that physical resistor junctions have an unpredictable resistance which affects the gain. One solution to this is to add balancing resistors and we can see that R1 and R2 are connected to the negative terminal of the offset and we'll still get the same equations. But it was noticed that R1 is connected to ground on, on one end for both resistors and that we could just combine them. And this is what we see in our, one of our final circuits. And the derivation is here, is that we sum up the currents I times R2 plus I times R1 plus I times R2. We notice that the current is just V offset divided by I. Because if we assume infinite feedback, these two voltages are the same. And since these two are the same, the only where the difference can appear is across R1, and that's where we get I equals V us divided by R1. Solve for V out and V OS, and we get V offset times 2 times R2 divided by R1 plus 1. And a further modification to the circuit can be made by inserting a filter circuit which is inverting into the feedback loop of the op amp. And we can see that this is configured in an inverting configuration. So that's why the symbols were reversed over here so that the net feedback is still negative even though it's coming, it looks like it's coming in on the positive terminal. Because the, the voltages are inverted to this configuration, this is acting like the negative terminal of a normal op amp and that is acting like the positive terminal. This op amp has a capacitor that makes this look open at DC and so minus R2 over R1 would effectively be infinite. And so we get a multiplication of our open loop gain at DC. But at AC, this starts to act like a short. And since R1 is greater than R2, we would get a decrease in voltage. And so it filters out high frequency signals, which would include noise. This would be the equation for this circuit. And if we wanted to add in junction balancing resistors, I could just add another resistor here and it would change this equation to 2R2. And so this putting in a an op amp inside the feedback loop is a classic way to improve circuit performance.